Stephen Hawking, God did not create us, aliens exist, and will live on the moon. Stephen Hawking has made some very interesting comments regarding the future of humanity. In fact, the world-renowned researcher has spoken about God, aliens, our place in the universe and how the 21st century will be a milestone in space exploration. Among the numerous subjects discussed in public, Professor Hawking has spoken out about God, our place in the universe, our goals as a civilization and the general future that awaits mankind. Interestingly, Stephen Hawking has even spoken out about aliens saying that alien life is real, and humans should refrain from making contact. The world-renowned scientist stated that there are around 100 billion galaxies in the universe, and each one contains millions of stars. Taking this into account, it is very unlikely that Earth is the only place in the vast universe where life has evolved. Making contact with advanced alien beings may be catastrophic for our civilization. Speaking about God, Stephen Hawking also said that God did not create the universe and the Big Bang was the inevitable consequence of the laws of physics. In the grand design, which was co-written with American physicist Leonard Mlodino, Hawking says according to a new series of theories, it is superfluous to think of a creator of the universe. The universe began with the Big Bang, which simply followed the inevitable law of physics, Hawking writes. Because there is a law such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. Spontaneous creation is the reason there is something rather than nothing, why the universe exists, why we exist. However, Professor Hawking also said that he expects mankind to go far in the near future. In fact, Hawking predicts that in the next 50 years, we should be living on the moon and by the end of this century, we are most likely going to be settling on Mars. Professor Hawking argued that the 21st century will be a milestone in space exploration. In 50 years we will have created bases and homes on the moon. The same will happen on Mars by the end of the century, says Hawking, who believes that if we fail to colonize other planets humanity will be in danger of extinction. Our planet is an old world that is threatened by the continued human population growth and the depletion of the Earth's resources. We must take account of those factors and make up a plan B. If we want to survive the next hundred years, even if not talking about the next thousand years, it is imperative to colonize other worlds away from Earth. If we follow this path I am sure that the next century will be characterized as a true space age," said Hawking. I guess it's the right time for us to take on the moon once again, after all, technology today is far more advanced than when the Apollo missions visited the moon.